we are going to pull the cyber drop. Yo, no. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Spanko, and today I'm excited. Oh, you guys can see it in my hand right now. I'm excited as heck because in today's video, we're going to be doing a pack opening, but it's not just any pack opening. It's goes from the past to the second haunting. That's what it's called, right? The second haunting. Yep, yeah, that's what it's called. The second haunting. I'm so excited for this booster box. You guys don't even understand. This contains some really crazy ghost rares. But just before we get into the video, I just want to say a big shout out to Untouchable Sports Card and Gaming. If you guys want to check out their website, a link will be in the description below at the top of the description. I love these guys so much. It's my local card shop. I do want to say a big shout out to them because I hit them up and I said, hey, look, I really want to open a box. And they said, come on in, we'll get you a box. So this is a special box. It was actually handpicked just for me. So hopefully this has a ghost rare in it. So if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Now, I don't want to keep you guys for too long because I'm super excited. So let's get right into the opening. All right, so just to get into this box opening, you guys can see it over here. First of all, it's a huge box. So I'm going to show it to you guys over here. You guys probably saw it already. So we're going to get into it. I'm just going to open it up over here because I want you guys to see me open it up. But I, I don't want to, you know, there's not that much space here. And what we'll do is we're actually just going to open one of the displays. And then just to take a look at how it opens up. And then the rest of them, I'm just going to open up and then we'll just go through the packs. Because opening up each single display will probably take forever. So here we go. I'm going to open this up. Five little mini boxes, I guess you can call them. So this is a full display here. All right, so let's get the first one out. So we'll open the first one together. And then the rest of them I'll just open up when we get into it. I'm excited, man. You ever excited for something and you're just nervous? Because there's so much good stuff that you can pull from here. The set's insane. Forget the ghost rares. I mean, the ghost rares are amazing, obviously. But you guys got stuff like Alibur. You got, got you got stuff like Halka Firebrax. You got so many different cards in the set that you can just really do well on. So I think there should be four packs. Yeah, so there's four packs. Yep, that's it. So there's four packs here. Let's go through the arts real quick. Also, I do want to mention this. So the ghost rares, there, there's a lot of really good ones, okay? And everyone is always going to be gunning for the, the Dark Magician girl, right? But I will say that the two that I really want are the Red Dragon Archfiend and the Cyber Dragon. I think these two in ghost rare are absolutely beautiful. And these are the two that I would want for my own collection. I'm going to be honest with you. We'll just keep it real because I know everyone really wants the Dark Magician girl. And I understand why, but definitely not one that i specifically want okay and i will say the uh the sphere mode is kind of nice sphere mode is kind of like a staple card so if you want to technically max that out ghost rare is the way to go i don't know where the ghost rare would be located in the pack so we're just gonna go through the pack okay so we're gonna start off with copernicus which again is just an insane reprint like do you guys see what i mean like these reprints are insane fossil machine skull buggy Bro, we're starting it off with an Aluber in our first pack. That's insane. I'm pretty sure this card still has like $35, $30 value. That's insane. In our first pack, we pull an Alubar. I think that's sick. That's super cool. I should have brought sleeves actually. I have sleeves for the ghost rares. Like I have um some nice uh penny sleeves, but I don't have anything for the just the really nice card. So we're starting off here with an Alubar. I'll put this over here to the side so you guys can take a look. Also, I should say, because I just saw these, the uh, the agents would be really cool to pull. I just thought, thought about that because I, I actually want to build that deck and I want to build it for the channel. So pulling the agent stuff would be kind of nice. And I think all the agent stuff should be in here. So with maybe a whole display, um, we'll get a good amount of agent stuff, I think, maybe. There should be five. Yeah, there's five boxes in here. So we have a good a chance to pull a lot of stuff. So here we're going to go Chimera Tech. Really nice. Retaliating Seat. We got Time Thief. Is this a new one? I feel like this is a new one. Fossil Fusion. This one is a random reprint. I don't know why they did this one. And Lamia. Okay, so that pack wasn't as hype. The Alibar in the first pack was kind of insane, to be honest with you. But um, yeah, no, it doesn't matter. This, this set is insane. There's, there's a lot of really good stuff in this set. So we got the Agent of Force Mars. We got the Despia Theater. Nice ultra rare, actually. Ooh, Elemental Hero Neos Kluger. This one's nice. This one we've been waiting for in the TCG for a while. Speaking of, now that we just saw this card, Zenith is also here, which is... Uh, Rainbow Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon, I think the name is. So Neos Kluger is very nice. I like this pull. Contract with the Void is a nice card. And a plunder per Oh, I didn't know the plunder per stuff was actually in here, funny enough. Okay. Well, we have our last pack of our first display here. Honestly, you can't complain. Even if you think about it. So if you think about it, right? Each display costs about five of them. This thing's about a hundred bucks, so like 20 bucks a display. Just that Alubar pull alone makes up the money for the display, if you're thinking about it money-wise, right? So we have a plunder patrol morgue. So back to back plunder cards. Crimson Knight Vampire. This is a good one. Okay, we needed this one for the fairies. I like that. Colt Wing. And Vampire Domination. All right, so that is it for our first display. Display. I will be honest with you, though. Not too bad. Not too bad. We have the Alabar. Now, um, honestly, I'm just going to open these all up real quick. Oh, 
yo this is so beautiful the artwork on this is really nice i'm gonna be honest with you all right i'm gonna open these all up once we get all the packs out uh we'll just continue the opening one minute 37 seconds later okay so i got all the packs out there's actually a lot of packs in here really if you think about it there's a good amount of packs in a single display so uh yeah let's just get right into it let's focus up here real quick and uh yeah again like i said the ghost rare that i want would be the red dragon arch fiend um, but it, actually, okay, so that's for my own collection. To be honest, the one that I want to pull is the DMG just because I can move that and then get all the other ghost as I want. But, uh, yeah, if, if, if there's one that's gonna, that I'm going to pull that I can keep for myself, the Red Dragon Arch Fiend and the Cyber Dragon would be the two that I want. Decode Talker Heat Soul. Now, I know this is a good pickup. This is a good one to pull. So I'm happy with that. Rare Fish is a really nice reprint here, as well as Insecto Hornet. Man, Insecto has been getting way too much stuff recently. I understand they're getting some more support, or they got more support, I guess I should say. Too much Insecto reprint, too many Insecto reprints. So we got Tenny Spirit Nahada, another Plunder Patrol, Agent of Life Neptune, nice. The Agent stuff I'll never say no to, Code Radiator, as well as Reptilian Lamelia. Okay, so these packs have not been as good as our first box, our first mini box, but uh, it's okay, it's okay. We're saving it up. We're saving up all our luck for later. Ooh, this one's a good one. I'm pretty sure this in secret was worth a few bucks. It was pretty expensive, I think. That's a good one. Cyanite Conflict. Ooh, Vision Hero Increase. Yes, sir. We'll take that one. So this is a reprint. I don't think it's actually too expensive in the reprint, but it's really nice. It's a really good pull, I would say. So we like that. Malefic Cyber and Dragon, as well as Ghost Drake Lantern. So I don't want to go through these too fast, but I also don't want to go through these too slow. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you think... The faster pack openings are better or slower pack openings are better? I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't do pack openings too much, but I do enjoy them a lot. So I kind of want to do them more. So we got a Ghost Trick Spectre over here. We got a Tatsu Necro, Fossil Warrior, Skull Knight. Oh man, the Bad Tenny, as well as Rare Fish. Okay. Okay. We got to heat things up. So that's three packs. So that's one mini display. I guess Heat Soul is not a bad pull, but that's not the best mini display. We still we still want to pull stuff like House of Fibrax. Still want to pull a Ghost Rare. Still want to pull. There's a lot of cards we can pull in here. So another having Copernicus. This is really nice. I like this one. Heavenly Dragon Circle. That's a really good reprint, actually. Reptia Egg. I actually don't know what this card does. This is interesting. I've never seen this card. This is a new card. We got Cyber Twin Raptor and Chimera Tech Mega Fleet. Ooh. Fortress Dragon would be really good. I don't think Fortress Dragon is very valuable, but it's a good reprint just because so many people are playing it Edison format, right? We got a Despia Theater. We got a Hope Harbinger. It doesn't look too bad in Ultra. We got a Ma uh, Majesty Hyperion. We got a uh, agent. We got another cyber twin raptor. Come on, come on, let's heat it up. We started off really hot. We started off with an Aliber. Let's heat it up. Got, we still got a bunch of packs. There's still a lot of chances. We got a Baxi here. Baxi is a good pull. Baxi is a really nice pull. We got a Plunder Patrol. Another Kluger. Let's go. That's not bad. I'm not mad with that one. Kluger is a nice one. We got Hornet. And we got Code Exporter. Some of these cards I've never seen before. Some of them, um, I guess some of them aren't imports, I guess. I don't know all the imports. I just know the agent imports. All right, we got a Puppet Queen. We got Agents of Judgment Saturn. Necro Old Banshee. That's a really good... That's actually... Wait, that's a really good one, no? I'm 99% sure this is a really good pull. We got the Chorus in the Sky, which is a really nice card. And we got Primal Dragon, the Primordial. All right, so let's move on to our next pack over here. Dark Magician Girl pack. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. We started off hot. We started off hot, hot for real. And now we're cooling down, but let's let's get let's get back to being hot. Sanctuary in the sky. Heat soul, good pull, good pull. We got an Insecto Hornet, and we got the Agent Earth. Okay, so I'll be honest with you. I don't again. I think I said this earlier, but I don't know where the Ghost Rare is, so I don't know where I would expect it. Is it in the middle? I feel like it would be in the middle, but maybe they do it at the end. I don't know. We got nine pillars. Doppel Warrior, Fallen Sanctuary, Ghost Trick Dulahan, and Vampire Sucker. Okay, Vampire Sucker is a not bad reprint. I don't think. I think that's a horrible reprint. Okay, let's go into a Geomath Mech Final Sigma. Not a bad card, not a bad reprint. Fossil Machine Skull Buggy. Sky Calvary Centuria. This was a pretty good, that was a really good reprint, actually, I would say. Vampire Takeover. And then the Agent of Miracles. Okay, cool. We got five more packs. Oh, come on. Come on. One more Alubar. One Halka Fibrax. A Ghost. Something. We can do it. We can make it happen. We got Proxy Horse. Venus. The first Venus, actually. Mardell. Contract of the Void, as well as DD Lamia. Okay, okay. Four more packs. We have one more mini display. Let's pull the Cyber Dragon. You know what? That's it. I'm channeling all my energy right now. I need you guys to like the video. I need you guys to subscribe because if you guys like the video and if you guys subscribe, I'm telling you right now, we're going to pull the Cyber Dragon. We are going to pull the Cyber Dragon. Yo, no. 
Yo, no, 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 stop, 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 no way, no, no, we didn't just do that, we didn't just do that, in the Cyber Dragon pack, in the pack that I called, did you guys subscribe, you guys must have subscribed, because what did I say, like the video and subscribe, and we're gonna pull, Yes! Let's go! That's the one I wanted! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes, baby! Oh! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Be careful, be careful, Spanko. Be careful, don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. Oh, let's take a look at this. Let's take a quick look at this. Oh my god. Oh, this card's perfect. No way. Oh no, see they always do this. You see this? Let me see if I can get it in the light right there. You guys see this? So they've been having these issues, this like waxing issue on the back. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, you can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but this is beautiful. Oh my god. Relax, Aladdin. Aladdin is my real name, by the way. Relax, Spanko. Relax, relax, relax. Oh my goodness. We did it. We did it. We pulled the Cyber Dragon. Oh, you guys must have subscribed. You guys must like the video. Because we called that. We put all our energy into it. Oh my god. What's the rest of the pack? Oh, I don't even want to, I don't even want to open this. We don't even need to open it. I think this is all from the same display. So there's no way one display can give you two ghost rares, right? There's no way. No, there's no way. Okay, let's see if we can pull an Alibar. Let's see if we can pull an Alibar. Let's go. Got a vampire sucker. Or oh, sorcerer, I mean, I should say. There's an ulti- Oh, 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 no. Wait, whoa, whoa. We got the hound. Yo, okay, so first of all, I didn't know Alter Guys had another trap card. I need to read this card. I don't know what this does. But we got a Hulk. What did I... Bro, I, did I just call the Hulk? And no, did I call the Cyber Dragon and then the Hulk? No way. No way. Bro, I just want to keep looking at this. All right, two more packs here. I mean, we got the Hulk. We got the Ghost Rare. I don't want to be greedy. I don't... What am, what, what am I supposed to ask for? How much more am I supposed to ask for here? We got the Hyperion. I mean, it's kind of nice. I mean, if we get another Aluvar, we would be kind of... I mean, okay, I'm being greedy. I'm being greedy now. I don't, I don't want to call it Necro Slime. Okay, so we got some DDD stuff. Actually, it's not bad. A decent amount of DDD stuff's in here. You can maybe... You get a lot of the... You got a lot of the stuff in here. We can, it's pretty cheap now. Okay, last pack. Last pack magic here. Let's go. Despian Comedy. Pretty good. I mean, I don't know if what we can... I don't know how we can beat what we just did. We got the... No. 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 Flashback. I mean, if we get another Aluvar, we would be kind of... I mean, okay, I'm being greedy. I'm being greedy now. End of flashback. No. Bro, I got to get more of this set. I got to get more of this set. Bro, the Alubar. Take in this mini display. Just take in this one mini display. That's all from the four packs. I don't know what to say here. I just... I have no words. We pulled the other Alubar earlier. We pulled the Kluger. We pulled a couple Heat Soul. This is insane, guys. This is insane. I have, I have no words. I just, I just Cyber Dragon, man. This card's absolutely stunning. I'm super happy. This is the one that I wanted for my collection. This and the Red Dragon Archfiend. So I'm happy that we can add that to the collection. Guys, make sure, oh, I don't know what to say here, but make sure you guys are liked and subscribed to the channel. Are liked to the channel? Make sure you guys like the video and you guys are subscribed to the channel because how do you beat that? Let me know how you guys beat that. And if you guys open this set, let me know what you guys pulled from your boxes or your display, whatever it is. I am 110% going back into this. No joke. I'm I'm getting more of this set. This is bad. This is how Konami gets you. You get a good pull and they're like, ha ha, you got to buy more. I'm going to buy more. This is way too good. And I don't know, man. I don't know. Double Alubars, Hulk, Cyber Dragon. I just, whatever. We're just going to end it off there. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to let me know if you guys got as hype pulling that cyber dragon as I did because I got hype I'll be honest with you but I uh, yeah I don't know man I don't know I'm I don't know thank you guys for watching Svanko signing out peace